The Verizon IndyCar series has undertaken its most ambitious makeover since the 1990s, when it was known as the Indy Racing League. Starting in 2018, brand new, low-slung bodywork designed by IndyCar's technical department, with input from its fans and stylist Chris Beatty, has been manufactured by Delara to outfit every car in the series. The sheer beauty of the UAK18, shorthand for Universal Aero Kit 2018, is what stands out first. And on the racetrack, the performance differences compared to the old custom Aero Kits made by Chevy and Honda through 2017 have been just as noticeable. IndyCar's goal from the outset was to reduce aerodynamic downforce and put more control of the car in the driver's hands. This has been achieved by stripping away the number of wing elements and complex body pieces used to top the car. A shift in downforce production has also been made to the UAK-18's underwing beneath the car. Compared to 2017 at the season opening St. Petersburg race, total downforce figures have been slashed by approximately 20%. Drag numbers are down somewhere in the 15% range. Consider this, with all the downforce that has been taken away in 2018, the new maximum downforce numbers are actually below the lowest downforce figures used in 2017. With less clutter comes less downforce and less drag, starting with the front wings. Simplicity drives the 2018 front wing package, the busyness of the manufacturer front wing array is gone, and in its place, the main front wing element, the carryover item, is fitted with smaller upper elements and end plates that are new. Both Chevy and Honda went about creating their previous front wing designs with huge downforce in mind, and it wasn't always pretty. With the UAK18, IndyCar realized improving the looks of the car, starting up front, would drive the rest of its visual impact. The greatest amount of work and the most important changes to the car for 2018 are found with the side pods that provide cooling for the engine's oil and water radiators and safety for the drivers. A completely altered layout for 2018 replaces side pods that were narrow up front and wide in the back with a more traditional Coke bottle design that's wide up front and narrow in the tail section. With the UAK18 side pods, the radiators have come forward in the car and now sit alongside the driver. With the wider side pods and radiators in position next to the cockpit, drivers have significantly more crushable structure to rely upon in a side impact. Gone on the UAK-18's floor and underwing are the anti-wheel intrusion fins, often referred to as sponsor blockers. Sponsor logos are clearly visible now, and while the large triangular opening in the old floor has been retained to cut down force on super speedways, the new kit comes with a smaller, fill-in piece for road races and short ovals. With high-speed air rushing beneath the leading edge of the floor, the wing-shaped profile in the smaller opening helps to re-energize that air as it moves to the top side of the floor. As part of IndyCar's UAK18 initiative, the floor now generates more of the downforce without having to rely so heavily on the front and rear wings. Rear tire ramps, which help divert air over and around the Firestone tires in order to reduce aerodynamic drag, have gone from the unique and sometimes odd shapes found with the manufacturer aero kits to something clean and effective with the UAK-18. The smooth, gradual radius to the new tire ramps are in stark contrast to some of the sharp, angular ramps seen on the Chevy and Honda kits. And with the new side pods that taper inwards at the rear, the UAK-18's tire ramps allow air to flow to the back of the car through a new and wider channel. Of all the things that have made IndyCar fans happy for 2018, removal of the rear wheel guards might top the list. The devices, which were a staple since the Delara DW12 chassis was introduced in 2012, were meant to reduce the chances of a trailing car being launched over the rear tires of the leading car. But with minimal data to show the wheel guards were an effective deterrent, IndyCar erased the heavy, unsightly pieces from the UAK-18 package. As a result, with the wide slick tires sending a clear visual reminder of the power they unleash, the beauty at the back of the car has been restored. The simplicity trend continues at the back of the UAK-18 bodywork with fewer wings and smaller wings to play with this season. Like the front wings, the previous Delara main plane has been carried over, but the days of having as many as four elements stacked on top or behind the primary element are no longer. New end plates are also employed, and with the rear wheel guards now outlawed, 
The small wings atop those pieces are gone, which has helped to cut down force figures. The tall engine covers, with their overhead air intakes to feed the engines, have been traded for a return to the old school with low engine covers, last seen in 2007 with the former Champ Car series. Of all the changes that contribute to the sleek looks in 2018, this might be number one. Cleaner airflow to the rear wing is also made possible without the tall engine cover. And with the tall engine covers relegated to history, another familiar view, the driver's helmet, can be seen from behind. The raked angle to the new roll hoop profile also lends to the UAK-18's improved looks. And finally, with the overhead air boxes taken away on the UAK-18 to make space for the low engine covers, feeding air to the twin turbo V6s from Chevy and Honda takes place from the front of the side pods. Special ducting, different for both brands, with a rectangular box for Chevy and a football-like unit for Honda, comes in through an air filter and then onto the turbos. The turbo's compressed air, its boost, is then sent to the top of the motor, into the plenum, and down to the combustion chambers.